<laughs> hey, what's going on guys? DJology, the science of DJing. I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk to you guys and let you know about this upcoming video. That's right, it covers NDI cameras inside of Mix Emergency and other video inputs inside of Mix Emergency as well. Make sure to watch the video to the very end. And if you guys have questions, please leave them in the Facebook group and Crush has agreed to do a live web webinar once we get enough demand. I realize I don't have a ton of subscribers right now, but you guys have been doing an amazing job sharing the video and getting the word out. Just wanted to say thank you guys. Once again, like, subscribe, share, and check out the video. I know you guys are gonna love it, so here we go. Alrighty guys, what's going on? DJology, the science of DJing. Now you guys have asked me to come up with some answers for how to hook cameras up into Mix Emergency, and I've got the man, the myth, the legend. That's right, DVDJ Crush. I am Crush the DJ. What are you going by these days? Oh, just Crush. <laughs> just Crush. <laughs> All right, so uh, we. We got him here on the camera. It took us maybe about two hours to figure out how to do the share, but uh, you know we're video DJs, so we figure it out. <laughs> right, right, right. So we just everything, then like they're, they're then sharing the knowledge so everybody can um, advance from it, you know. Yes, and you know he works really closely with Nick, who is the uh, designer of, of Mix Emergency. So if there's anybody give you the answer to any questions that you guys got, it's it's this guy right here. Um, but what we're going to cover today is uh, NDI inputs into Mix Emergency. So I'm going to give crush the floor a little bit because I'm a little lost when it comes to this myself. Yeah, well, um, you know, Scott King, he, he approached me, um, you know, I saw his uh, video, I shared it, and then um, I hit him up, or he hit me up, and we were talking about, he had a lot of questions with people inquiring about um, camera inputs into Mix Emergency and how do they capture their GoPro or, you know, get a, a, an external video camera into their Mix Emergency output. So here it is, man, this is Mix Emergency. Um, I really can't get into which version, but this is um, the, the latest version. Will do all of this. Um, uh, I have my my displays right here. My uh, I guess my viewing deck right here. I guess it would be. Yeah, you got your um, left deck. You got your right deck, and of course the uh, the output deck is the middle is the middle screen and the screen up top. That's correct. So this is, this would be right here. This area here. This would be up top. Would be your master output. That's what's going out to the crowd. Um, and then below, of course, is just the um, the control deck of like cross fader that would cross the videos back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. So over here to the left is the video input panel, and it's got like your image, which you're used to seeing, uh, text, sports composition. And um, in, in version 3.0 of Mix Emergency, it also um, incorporates an NDI input. And uh, just a quick um, touch upon what NDI is. Um, it's a network display interface. Um, it lets me capture um, multiple sources. And what I have here, if you notice, I've got both of my phones. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to switch over to one of my phones here. And I'm going to put it put my finger over the top of it. <laughs> um, okay, so now you see what I'm seeing. You know, sitting at my, at my desk. There's my hand right there. Um, I have a GoPro here. I have another phone here, which it's also showing, you know, just said you can use your phone on a stand, okay? And then I'm capturing that via NDI. So how did you get Mix Emergency to recognize that? Okay, there's an app called NDI Camera, or NDI Cam. You can buy it, or you can buy, I don't know if it's a purchase. Was it a purchase, I think? It's obviously well worth it because you can use multiple uh, unlimited sources. So I can have a hundred of these inputs in the eye. And that can be coming from um, even Wi-Fi. If I wanted to capture your output from another computer, if you sent NDI output to my computer, I could capture NDI wirelessly into my setup, whether it be in Resident. But that's that's way advanced. So that's something that we can touch upon later on if you guys are interested in that, how to capture other people's NDI sources into it. But that's another time and another place. We're going to stick to the format. 
<laughs> so, what was the name of the app for the N D I Nancy David Internet N D I Cam? Okay, and that's just on the App Store. Yeah, you can find that in the App Store. Okay, so it's it's by N D I. It's by New Tech. Okay, and this is N E W T E K dot com. Yep, N E W T E K dot com. Boom. So if I get this app for thirty nine ninety nine, it will then recognize in the mix emergency, and then do I have to get the app on what devices to have it recognize? And it's through a network device, correct? Correct. Like right now, I'm capturing this into my phones, and it's being done wirelessly through the app. Yes. Okay, and then Mix Emergency recognizes that on the same app that's on the computer. They talk to each other because they're on the same... No, you don't need the app on the computer at all. Not at all. In Mix Emergency, the app's built in the Mix Emergency. Nick has it built in the Mix Emergency. Okay, well, that's great. So I just need to put it on my phone, and then it recognizes it on, on Mix Emergency. Correct. Cool. So now that we got that taken care of, those are your NDI inputs. Um, we also were going over the Black Magic box on the other video inputs as well. Yes. So I'm going to switch to my phone here so you guys can see what I see. Okay. So this is my phone right here that I'm using. I'm going to go to this little device right here. All right. In order to capture the GoPro, what I found the best um, ideal thing to do. It's like you can't just plug your GoPro into your computer and it just captures. Now, with Mr. Emergency that I'm familiar with, um, I know somebody had asked a question about that. Yep. Um, and it, I, I don't think they ever get the answer. To the best of my knowledge, and I could be wrong, but I do not believe you can just plug your GoPro directly into your computer and it auto read here in your like in your video input section. Yeah. That it would show up as a GoPro. I don't believe it does that. So, right here, I've got this Black Magic mini recorder. It'll work fine. Uh, I don't know the price on it. Um, I'm sure Tim can find that out. We can. I'll, we can I'll leave a link in the description. There you go. And it's um, it's made by Black Magic. It's an Ultra Studio mini recorder. It has Thunderbolt. Okay. Now, since I have the newer Mac with the USB C. Um, I have it going to a, a converter, Thunderbolt to USB-C into the computer. That when you plug that in, you also have to install the drivers. Um, we talked about that thing also. I can um, leave a link for for that as well. Okay. Then it will. And then when you start up Mixing Emergency, it will allow this to show up as so. So I'm going to pull off this camera real quick. Okay. Now up here I have that selected, that black magic input. So when I select that and turn that on, if you notice the master output, it's now on my GoPro. Okay. Oh, that's on your, oh yeah, you showed us that earlier, yeah. No, I showed you a different one. <laughs> <laughs> that was, here, I'm gonna show you real quick. So if I switch to iPhone X. Okay. Yeah, input. Okay, because this is a higher RT, if I turn that off, see the difference? Oh, okay. There will be two cams. So let's play with that a little bit. What if I wanted to take that and put him in the corner as a separate cam? And then I was capturing your output from another country in this NDI. We'll get another one over there. <laughs> um, but anyway, now i got both my cameras, see? Oh, wow. Like a, a picture in picture. So the video input works on top, and it, it scales down. Correct, and you, you control that with the video input. It has a mixed scale X, Y controls over here. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, if I wanted to mix it, I could. Or I can have just that camera right there, and my mixer to the output point. See? Got it. And if I wanted to show, like, you know, this camp, you know, this is my phone right here. Yep, that's the GoPro right there. Okay. Yeah. If I want to know, let's say you have that on the crowd, on the dance floor or something like that, which is pretty cool. Or you have it like as an overhead over the top of you actually be there if you turn table with it. Um, which is kind of like a, a cool effect because when I'm in the club 
Or if I'm on stage and I'm above everybody, nobody's really seeing what I'm doing if I'm doing any kind of juggling or scratching. So a GoPro with like a little overhead, you know, with the with the wide angle set, like on the Hero Fours and stuff like that, is great because now the audience can see what I'm doing. If I'm on turntables and I'm juggling, if I'm scratching, if I'm remixing live on the fly, that's that's kind of involving your crowd or engaging your crowd, and like putting them in your position. And um, it's a cool little effect, and it's, I mean, for the price, I think it's worth it. I mean, you know, the money you spend, the money you invest in yourself shows how much you're willing to go and how far you're willing to go with um, your hobby, if it's your hobby, or if it's a career, if it's full-time. Um, I know I've been doing this way too long, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's um, I made a living at it for a, a really long time, and um I love it. I mean, music's been in my blood since I was, you know, 13 years old. So, but I'm always looking to push the envelope. What's the next big thing? Or how can I do this? And or people say, hey, how can we do this? And they ask Evan or or they ask me or, you know, other members like King. Anyway, they'll ask them and then so it'll kind of revert back to us and then we'll figure it out and put it out there. Um, if we can't figure it out, we, you know, we'll call like Nick with Nick's emergency. He's, he's a one man, like, monster i mean he does all of this stuff by himself and he, I mean, he makes it work and uh, you know if it can be if it can be done he can do it um i like the fact that you know even over here these camp you know selecting these cameras can be done with a midi controller where you don't have to sit here and go to this control panel and change the cameras we can set this to be a trigger on one on one button you can also and, siphon it into uh a resolute arena Yes, and then we can, you can siphon them into Resolute Arena, or you can NDI, because now Resolute has NDI also. So, so I mean, NDI where it's where, like, in NDI is kind of like where the future of video, I mean, it's basically video over, you know, internet, like a you know, Ethernet line. Um, and you can do Wi-Fi, it's a little bit lower resolution, um, but it's still, I mean, I mean, I can do, with uh, Evan with Visual Eye Candy, I mean, no drop frames, over um, a land connection into a, you know, I mean, it is crazy the quality that comes out of it. So, you know, I mean, that's stuff that we can definitely cover. Be, and that would be like maybe a, an hour, hour and a half, you know, webinar to make sure that we cover everything and answer all your questions. Um, so, yeah, I'm down for that. If you guys are very interested in that. Well, we got we got to figure out what the demand is. If there's a huge demand for something like that, then, yeah, that'd be worth going forward with, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And there's other stuff too, man. Like, you know, this is just the you know, tip of the iceberg because, um, stuff as far as like, you know, I know a lot of people always reach out to us about, you know, logo animations and how do we get it to look 3D and, you know, they've never seen that and stuff before and, you know, transitions and stuff like that. So you were showing me something that G-Sports made that was animations that could go over the video. Yes, 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 yes. That is... We'll tease them if you want. Let's yeah, see. we'll do a little teaser on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's little stuff you put in the deck. You see these little neon effects right here? Let me turn the camera off for just a second. These will go to the beat grid. They will actually follow the beat grid. And these were something that we previously sold on visualeyecandy.com. And while that stuff's all being rebuilt, you know, then you can stack them so I can have that one going on and Add another one, and another one, and another one. Wow. And, and that goes to the beat grid. Everything goes to the beat grid, if you want it to follow it, yes. And there's a certain way they have to be set. The preferences have to be set to follow that beat grid. But that's something that... Um, we would probably have to cover that in another video. Another video. I mean, we'll, me and you are going to have to, like, we'll see what the demand is, what people want. Yeah, you know? it's all about the demand, right? So if the demand's there and we can, you know, we can answer it, then the little thing be for me. See? Um, yeah, cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got so much video being drawn right now. It's fucking, uh... <laughs> this is amazing that we can even record this from your studio <laughs> to my studio. If we had Evan in the mix, we could have did this all in the eye. We probably wouldn't have had any drop frames. Yeah. All right, bro. Well, um, thanks for your time. We're going to see what the response is from the video DJ community. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, share, Add yourself to the Facebook group, and uh, yeah, we're going to take it from there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. <laughs>